We're in today with the GT720. This is a 2014 video card with 192 shaders. It's got one gig of VRAM, GDDR, I want to say GDDR3, DDR3, running at 700, 800 megahertz on the core clock and 800 megahertz on the memory clock with 64 bits bus width and DirectX 11 support. I'm gonna pair it up with this W3690. I'm gonna see how it's running in a couple of games. Now, the only thing I did uh, with this CPU, I managed to reach 4.1 gig on this uh, CPU, and hopefully uh, it will be stable. 4.1 with throttle stop, because somebody told me in the comment section, by the way, thank you. I'm gonna see how it's running with a higher frequency. Let's jump in a couple of games and see how this GT720 is running and this W3690 on 4.1 gig. Okay, let's start with GTA 5 and see how it's running with uh, DirectX 10, 1080p. I don't even know what uh, performance it's going to have, but I'm curious and see, yeah, wanna see how it's running like this. Uh, 0.5, it's on uh, frame. I'm, I'm guessing it will need because Look at that, that resolution is not okay. And I think I have to change it. What do you think? So change it because it's 1.1. This time it was with 1366. Let's try this one. Let's okay, this is interesting. On uh, 1366, apparently I get 36 FPS. This is not a great number, but uh, you need to understand this is GT720, you know, and I'm on GTA online. This is not the greatest experience, you know, because I just want to see if the game is running. This situation, you can actually see 0.9 gig of VRAM utilized, maximum VRAM, it's only got one gig of VRAM, DDR3, you know, it's not even GDDR3, you know, because I'm guessing GDDR3 is put with uh, 128 bits bus width, but this is 64 bits bus width. And, uh, it's maximum uh, on, on the core and uh, good thing it's uh, it's got a fan I put a fan on the side so it can blow on the radiator because it's passive it doesn't have a fan on it and it stays on 36 degrees <laughs> don't ask don't ask the, the, the whole thing is stupid I don't want to show it <laughs> regardless um, my CPU that has 62 degrees and it's working on 4.1 gig yes okay so why you get so excited well apparently i've been told many times in uh, in the comment section so i can overclock the cpu and i was like how do i overclock the cpu because it's an hp and it doesn't have any mods inside so multiplier it's not uh, available is there no problem they download the tool uh, throttle stop and you can do it so i downloaded the software and now it's on 4.1 instead of 3.4 that is the base clock going to 3.6 now it's on 4.1 and it's doing a fantastic job on 1366 with the gt720 apparently the cpu is doing is doing nice on the, spot. the cpu is on 30 40 percent it's using only 7.8 gig of uh, system ram and it's kind of nice you know on the system side at least i'm good you know e either even if the 720 is lagging okay so 30 fps is not the ideal number even if it's on 1366 i think the only problem the only problem okay let's jump into four light i think this is gonna be very interesting because borderless smooth and high and i think i will have a chance to play the game with this gt720 now on last time with the with gt <laughs> i put it on 4 gig now because uh, i had problems with all right how are we doing 100 fps in the air i'm not gonna i'm not gonna judge the performance from here you know apparently the 0.9 uh, gig it's here 0.8 0.9 What do you mean a new Reaper has arrived? I was the one. Apparently I managed to see in this game how you will play with this Xeon uh, W3690. Apparently it's lagging like hell with this. But the, pro the problem is this, you know, the video card. That's the only problem. The core is maxed out. The, the VRAM is used. Everything It's just bad with the video card. And uh, you have to overclock it or 
you need a better bus with uh, better memory everything everything in this uh, situation needs to be better but uh, i'm not gonna lie it's starting the game you can run it i think it will be even better if you can put it on how should i say even on lower resolution keep changing menu here now it's on the left side now it's on the right side now it's on the left side what which in this side man let's jump into fortnite and see how it's running with 1366 on performance mode with uh, low details i think it's gonna do wonders seriously all right how are we doing oh my god look at 26 fps i'm not okay with this fortnite oh my god help me cpu oh, 4000 megahertz on the course <laughs> I'm so happy. This video card is bananas and it's killing me and it's destroying my Fortnite night. Not gonna lie, I don't like the FPS. 40 FPS with this is not okay. I need I need better numbers from this uh, GT720. Seriously, I mean it's using the VRAM, it's using the VRAM, it's using the core 9597. Let's try to put uh, that render scale on uh, on the lower. Start with 75. How are we doing? 61 FPS, much better promise you this is much better 70 fps 60 fps on average 22 on minimas and 25 on one percent not the greatest numbers i'm top 10 with this video card and i'm not gonna lie i'm still uh, I'm still playing uh do i recommend the gpu like this yeah not really seriously because it's kind of horrible with the that uh 64 bits bus width you know one gig of vram is not enough the core is constantly uh full you know loaded I'm thinking because uh, because of the resolution is not fully loaded now, but it's giving me like 40 between 40 and 60 FPS, and uh, I will say it's enough, you know, to actually play the game properly. 720p will uh, will help. Yes, I think 720p will help, but uh, you're just beating around the bush, you know. On the other hand, the CPU it's uh, bananas. How interesting it's working now with uh, 4,000 megahertz on the course. Yeah, I'm very happy. I need to test more games and I need to put a better GPU now. Ah, this is so stupid you know i won a game with 720 you know gt 720 this is hilarious let's jump into world of tanks and see how it's rocking i want to see if on uh, settings 1024 uh, i think 1366 will be ideal let's keep the trend today with 1366 120 fps in world of tanks apparently we are getting the numbers 130 40 depending let's see how much uh, minimums we get those minimas are the most important one. 20 minimas and 69 on 1%, 76 actually, around 70, 80. Okay, that's actually good. 31, if I zoom in, in in the sniper mode, I think I will drop everything to zero. No? Maybe in like that. Apparently, no. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. It's working really nice. World of Tanks, I always come in World of Tanks whenever I have a very bad video card or a low end entry level doesn't matter it just makes my uh, hardware work and i love it system ram i'm only using six gig of system ram from 24 it's got like three slots and it only supports this amount of uh, system ram i think maybe i can reach 32 gig six gig of uh, system ram 0.6 gig of vram used only that's not actually bad you know it shows me that the core from this video card it's uh, bottlenecking I'm actually curious on the cpu side how we're doing four gig i keep looking at those four gig because uh, i want to test the proper video card and see how it's rocking with an rtx maybe it's uh, much better now before it was 3.4 gig on the cores and uh, it didn't have a pro very good uh, experience with uh, the rtx video cards I had uh, more power on the on the core of this GPU. It's capable of delivering the performance, but it's uh, not that great, you know, when it comes to fast core. I do have uh, good averages in the game. I do like how it's working. The um, Xeon, it's an overkill when it comes to the CPU side, you know, the memory, it's an overkill. I just need a better video card that has more than 64 bits bus bit, even in World of Tanks, only to get those minimas. But with the 47, it's okay, you know, 47, here it is, 47, yeah, 47, it's okay, you know, for the minimas. 
I'm not gonna complain, it's good, it's working in World of Tanks, the whole system, so I need more games like this, not like uh, other ones that are uh, lagging horrible. Cross out, come on, let's see how it's running. Oh my God, it looks, uh, GT 720, 720p, 40% render scale. Oh my God, legacy activated. This is gonna be hard. Let's jump in and see how it's running. Well, let's just from there. 50 FPS, 60 on average. Oh my God, it looks so bad. My eyes hurt, seriously. But uh, it's working. It's one of those games that is starting with this GT 720. I wanna go with the group here and uh, murder somebody. Bong, 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 bong. Auto cannon, auto cannon. Okay, there is a fight here in the front and I'm going to go there and uh, I'm gonna help the team. All right. I said, well, oh my God. It does the job. Well, I managed to kill somebody. Seriously, with this potato, with this potato graphics. <laughs> Look at this, 24 minimals, 40 on 1%. I'm maxing out in uh, in the VRAM and on the core. It's all maxed out, seriously. Good thing that uh, fan is on top of the uh, video card because it's, uh, it's blowing so much air and he's keeping it on 37 degrees. Oh, I managed to kill somebody. I keep getting oh my god I don't have any more wheels who's shooting me I managed to win let's try counter-strike and see how it's running I think uh, everything on low details with uh, uh, 720p I think I can go lower but I'll keep it like this because I want to see how it's running like this I really want to make more kills with this system seriously it will validate my GT 720 so hard Oh yeah, I'm actually scared that the, the CPU was is, is going to bottleneck, seriously. I've seen a couple of cores jumping everywhere, you know, like nearly to the maximum. Kind of near to impossible to play with this. I think on lower resolution you can do it, you know, you can play, but uh, come on. I need, to, I need to find a better game that is uh, for this, maybe some uh, older titles, you know, who knows. This Counter-Strike apparently is too much for this video card. The core is loaded, the VRAM is loaded, everything is loaded in this one and uh, can do nothing. Maybe some overclocking, but you're breaking that card into pieces. Can I recommend this video card? If you get a free, can I recommend this video card? If, if you get a chip, can I recommend this video card? Um, if you want to restore an old computer, can I recommend this video card? If you want to use it as an email, media player, YouTube, or non-gaming related, yes. Can I recommend this video card for gaming? Uh, absolutely not. I don't want to recommend this video card because there's a couple of G older GPUs that have better specs than this video card and it's running much better. Actually, we tested more video card. We tested a couple of GPUs that are better than this uh, 720, but that's it. If you're using it for the other purposes than gaming, uh, the video card is okay. Just curious, what do you think? Do you have, uh, how should I say, do you have another option for this 720 aside the one that I, I, I said? I'm just curious. Leave a comment.